and welcome back to EDH Deck Building. I am your host, Demo, and these are your options if you want to counter spells and you aren't in blue. I have had a few requests for this video. I, I had a video that I did sort of these fringe counter spells that I thought could see more play, and I mentioned a few off-color counter spells in that video. Also did an off-color removal video a long time ago, and I added a few counter spells into that video. You know, counter spells kind of can be seen as removal, kind of not. So I thought I would just compile a whole list of them. There's a lot. I got 32 on this list and I'm going to go over them by color type, obviously, because that is always what matters. So just to clarify again, these are all of your counter spell options that aren't in blue. And I went really deep here. So starting out with Null Brooch, four mana artifact, pay two, tap, discard your hand, counter target non-creature spell. Talked about this in a 10 cards video a little while ago pretty good i mean you have to discard your hand so you probably want to play it in a theme where you either want an empty hand or you're in a discard theme or something like that repeatable counter spells can be really good and i find typically that i want to be countering the non-creature stuff more than the creatures next up we got null stone gargoyle nine mana artifact creature gargoyle four five with flying that's a whole lot of mana but whenever they first non-creature spell of a turn is cast counter that spell again only dealing with non-creatures what's particularly good here though is if your opponents want to get this off the table they're probably going to use a non-creature spell right spot removal or board wipe or something like that so they're going to have to get two by you before they can get your null stone gargoyle off the table next up we got warping whale this is a probably a lot lesser known one one in a colorless mana instant choose one exile target creature with power or toughness one or less that's actually not too shabby it's probably a lot of situations you can use that in a command game also you can create a 1-1 one, one color Zeldrazi creature token but most importantly you can also counter target sorcery spell so it is a counter spell you're only countering sorceries but again a lot of the times the sorceries are really the bangers that can end the game the expropriates and rise of the dark realms and cards like that it can be worth it especially if you're in a colorless deck this is a pretty interesting option next up we got void mirror two mana artifact whenever a player cast a spell if no colored mana was spent to cast it counter that spell this is a fairly recent card i'm sure a lot of people know it exists it is an option for you why i particularly like this is because it's going to hit those free spells right if a player casts a spell for free obviously they're not spending any colored mana because they're not spending any mana so it's going to counter it that's what i like about this card in particular next up we got ring of immortals five mana artifact pay three and tap counter target instant or aura spell that targets a permanent you control probably a whole lot of people out there that don't know this card exists it is old and it is expensive of course for that reason but this is a repeatable counter three mana to counter an instance that targets a permanent you control and being able to do that repeatedly can be pretty good in a deck where you know maybe you got a voltron strategy and people are going to be trying to target your commander repeatedly or maybe you just have a permanent in particular that you want to be protecting and a lot of the removal out there is instant speed right so this can actually be pretty usable next up we got not of this world another one that i think probably people aren't very aware of seven mana tribal eldrazi instant counter target spell or ability that targets a permanent you control however this spell costs seven less to cast so of course that means it's free if it targets a spell or ability that targets a creature you control with power seven or greater and of course because this is colorless it can go in any deck and just by my quick search there are 87 commanders in the commander format that have a power of seven or greater that's a lot so there's probably a lot of decks out there that could be using this card 62 of which are not in blue right that's mostly what we're looking for here is you're not playing a blue deck and what's your options so 62 commanders out there with a seven or greater power that this can be a free spell to protect your commander next up we got chalice of the void which is a pretty infamous card and you don't really see it in commander much but it can be good right x and x artifact chalice of the void enters the battlefield with x charge counters on it so of course if you pay two mana you're going to have one counter on it. If you pay four mana, you'll have two counters on it. Whenever a player casts a spell 
with mana value equal to the number of charge counters on Chalice of the Void counter that spell. This actually can be good in some decks, you know, maybe a Tigum deck, for example, where your stuff can't be countered, or at least your instant sorceries and dragons can't be countered. You could just throw this in there. It's going to hurt your opponents, not really going to hurt you at all, right? Could also just throw this on one. Maybe you have a deck where you don't have any ones and you can just hose all your opponents because everyone's probably going to have a lot of them in their deck. Also could be interesting if you can manipulate counters, right? Because this is using charge counters. You can take them off and put them on to manipulate the amount of counters on it. It's an interesting way to use it as well. Moving on to our black counter spells. We got Withering Boon, one in a black instant as an additional cost to cast this spell, pay three life, which of course is almost nothing in a commander game. Counter target creature spell. So this is just a black hard counter spell against creatures. Now again, typically the non-creature spells are the ones I'm more concerned with. This works really good against the Crater Hoof, right? That would be the best scenario for a card like this. Blights the Colossus also, you know, black removes creatures really well. Not necessarily indestructible creatures, so it can be good there as well. There are some specific situations where this can be good. It's also kind of neat, any of these cards, you know, it's kind of neat to sort of have that gotcha moment where, hey, I got a black counter spell and I'm going to counter your commander with it. Next up, we got Thrall Wizard. Two and a black Thrall Wizard. One, one. I just love how this creature is the same creature type that is its name. It's a Thrall Wizard and its creature type is Thrall Wizard. I think that's kind of funny. Pay one and a black. Counter target black spell unless that spell's controller pays a black or three. So this is a black card that counters black spells and of course black is a really popular color in the format it is likely that you're going to be in a game with at least one other black deck i talked about this card before in my thrall tribal deck the ebon prater thrall tribal deck that i made because i thought well it's a thrall it's going to fit it also is a wizard so could fit in a black wizard theme as well and you know if you happen to be against a black deck or a number of black decks it can be pretty decent to make your opponents pay an extra black or possibly an extra three to have their spell. Next up, we got Stromgold Cabal, one black, black, human knight, two, two. Tap and pay one life, counter target, white spell. So this is more suiting in black, obviously. We have a black card that is countering white. White is not as popular as black in the format, but still is, you know, you're going to run into it from time to time. And again, if your opponent's playing that Atraxa deck, that is a white card. You can counter their Atraxa with this. Just tap and pay one life isn't much to ask for, obviously. Next up, we got Death Death Grip, black and a black enchantment. Pay black and a black, counter target green spell. So now we're hating on the green spells in black. And of course, green is a very popular color in the format, maybe the most popular color. And in particular, if you're in that play group where you have lots of buddies that like to play those green decks and like to ramp and all that good stuff, you really can shut them down with this card. It's just gonna sit on the table and you can just leave up two black mana to counter anything that they might wanna do. Lastly for black, we got Dash Hopes, black and a black instant. Whenever you cast this spell, any player may pay five life if a player does counter dash hopes and it just counters target spell now of course this is not great in a commander game it is an actual black counter spell unfortunately the spell you're going to counter they can just pay five life and they'll get it so it's a tough one you know i mean you could be in the unique scenario where your opponents can't pay life for stuff or maybe you're in a scenario where your spells can't be countered again so if you're in that scenario if an opponent pays the five life to counter your dash hopes the dash hopes won't get countered so it will actually go through you're jumping on through a lot of hoops here though but it is an option for you Getting to the green counter spells, and this is one of my personal favorites, Avoid Fate, one green mana instant, counter target instant or aura spell that targets a permanent you control. So again, in green, when you want to protect your stuff, this seems pretty good. The aura does work against, you know, that Song of the Dryads or that Imprisoned in the Moon, so that situation does arise from time to time. The instant one, obviously, way more. The majority of the removal in the format is instant speed. A lot of people tell me they don't play anything that is an instant speed as far as removal goes, so Oh, this is going to be a very effective card in a commander game without question. Next up, we got Life Force, green and a green enchantment, and you can pay green and a green and counter target black spell. So obviously the antithesis of Death Grip, this is the green version. You're going to be countering black spells. Obviously we know where this is going to be great. So again, if you're in that play group where your opponents like to play black a lot, this could be a great way to hose them. And our one multicolored card on this list, Guttural Response. 
It costs one hybrid red and green mana, and it, of course it is an instant and can counter target blue instant spell. So you're only targeting blue here, you're only targeting instants, but that is a lot. Obviously all the counter spells in blue, right? There's a lot of stuff on this list that is anti-counter spell, ironically enough, and this is one of them. Also though, like a Cyclonic Rift, right? Everyone hates those Cyclonic Rifts. This is something that can get rid of a Cyclonic Rift if your opponents like to play that all the time, and a lot of people do, obviously. And very similarly, starting out our red counter spells is burnout one and a red instant counter target instant spell if it's blue and you get to draw a card at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep so very similar to guttural response works in all those similar scenarios where this is particularly good though and why it's a personal favorite of mine is because it's a cantrip so it's never going to be a dead card and you counter target instant spell so you can target any instant spell with this if it's not blue then it will do nothing but it will still resolve right it's still a legal target to counter any instant spell with this so you will get the cantrip you'll get to draw that card at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep so it can still replace itself it's never going to be a dead card sitting in your hand which is why i like it next up we have artifact blast one red mana instant counter target artifact spell and i have a patron who this is a personal favorite of theirs and i thought you know red deals with artifacts really really well so is this necessary why would you counter it when you can just destroy it at any time but but as they said, you know, it, it works great against like a Blightsteel Colossus, for example, right? There are a few situations out there where destroying an artifact isn't going to help you. A Meteor Golem, for example, right? When it enters the battlefield, it's going to have an effect. Destroying it does nothing. Countering it actually will in that situation, right? So there is some situations where you might want to play this. Next up, we got Mage's Contest. One red, red instant. And this is a really funny one. You and target spells controller bid life. You start the bidding with a bid of one. In turn order, each player may top the high bid. The bidding ends if the high bid stands. The high bidder loses life equal to the high bid if you win the bidding. Counter the spell. So basically, you're going to try to counter one of your opponent's spells and you're both going to bid life. And if your opponent really wants the spell, you can make them pay a whole ton of life in order to get it or if you really want to counter the spell you could pay as much life as you want like if it's going to end the game you can just pay all your life down to one right you can't pay all your life obviously but you can pay all the way down to one if you have more life in them then it's guaranteed going to get countered it works good in a scenario where you want your opponents to be draining their life right a lot of those mogus sort of group slug type decks a card like this can be really good there as well next up we got molten influence and i don't know if anyone's ever going to use this spell but it is an option for you and i went really deep Deep here i got all the options that are available one in a red instant counter target instant or sorcery spell unless its controller has molten influence deal four damage to them so likely they're almost always going to have the four damage deal to them right this is not going to work great unless your opponent has four or less life that's just about the only scenario where this could be good very fringe but it is an option next up we got of course pyroblast and red elemental blast very well known both one red mana instance counter target blue spell or destroy a blue permanent can be really good a lot of people i know who like red and really don't like blue this is auto includes for them in their decks all their red decks they have these because they just really don't like the blue only difference here again is with pyroblast it says counter target spell if it's blue and destroy target permanent if it's blue again just like burnout it has that slightly different wording where you can cast it even if the spell isn't blue or the permanent isn't blue if there's ever a scenario where you want to do that next up for red we got Tabalt's trickery of course everyone is very aware of this one i'm sure one on a red instant counter target spell choose one two or three at random its controller mills that many cards and exiles cards on the top of their library until they exile a non-land card with a different name than that spell they may cast the card without paying its mana cost then they put the exile cards on the bottom of their library in random order so a lot of people really like this card i don't like it myself personally i've never put it in a deck i've seen this cast in a game a few times and it's it's about 50-50 where the scenario becomes worse. The card that they get to cast for free is actually worse than the one that's getting countered. So, you know, is that on the person that's casting it? Maybe 
they're choosing a wrong situation to cast it in. I don't know. It can be very tempting for you when you have a counter spell in your hand and your opponent's casting a good card. You tend to want to counter it and then they end up exiling and casting something that's actually better than the thing that they were originally casting. Like I said, it's about 50-50 from what I've seen so far, but a lot of people like this card. It can be good in that game-saving situation. And lastly for red, we got Planar Chaos. Two and a red enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, flip a coin. If you lose the flip, sacrifice Planar Chaos. Whenever a player casts a spell, that player flips a coin. If you lose the flip, counter that spell. So again, I just talked about this in one of my 10 cards videos. Probably a lot of people don't think of it as a counter spell. They think of it as a coin flipping card, but I just think it's really great where you can just slap it down. You don't have to pay the upkeep right away, obviously. And for a whole turn cycle, at the very least, your opponents are probably not going to want to cast their important spells because there's a 50-50 chance it'll get countered, right? And they don't want to risk it. So this actually can be really great at preventing your opponents from doing stuff. Ending off with the white counter spells and white actually does have quite a few counter effects. You know, I, I did my what white does best video a long time ago now and I talked about of course what the things that white does best but white actually does a lot of other things surprisingly well like ramp for example white does ramp i think second best out of all the colors i think white does recursion second best as well i just talked about this when i did my ao deck tech about how white actually has a lot of recursion especially if you want to concentrate on the smaller creatures it's got a ton and white surprisingly does counter spells pretty darn good as well so for example illumination white and a white instant counter target artifact or enchantment spell its controller gains life equals to its mana value so a white counter spell for artifacts and enchantments and again just like with artifact blast white does deal with artifacts and enchantments really really well however there is the situation where you don't even want that artifact or enchantment to even hit the table so this can be good in those situations next up we got dawn charm and this one actually just got recently reprinted in Commander Legends, so it does get used in Commander from time to time. One in a white instant. Choose one. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. Of course, that's always going to be a usable situation. Regenerate target creature, also one that you're going to want to use from time to time, and counter target spell that targets you. So a lot of people don't think of this as a counter spell. I think you probably would be using the first two more on this than the counter spell option, but it is an option. Counter target spell that targets you can be used from time to time next up we got presence of the master three and a white enchantment whenever a player cast an enchantment spell counter it yes this is a mono white enchantment that is a counter spell for enchantments very interesting card there's just a lot of really powerful enchantments in the format and you know if you don't have a bunch if you're not really playing any just plop this down and your opponents are gonna have to get rid of it before they want to play any of their enchantments next up we have in euro griffin three and a white griffin Griffin 2-2 with flying, very fringe counter spell. You can sacrifice it to counter target red instant or sorcery spell. Again, color specific, but if you're in that play group where your opponents like to play red or you know you're going to be playing against red very frequently, sacrificing this creature to counter a red instant or sorcery spell is actually pretty darn good. Next up, we got Vigilant Martyr, another one I talked about in my 10 cards videos a while back. One white mana human cleric 1-1. One, one. Sacrifice Vigilant Martyr to regenerate target creature. So that's pretty darn good. Again, just like with Dawn Charm, it is an option for you, right? I like having versatility in cards where if I don't use this first option, maybe I can use the second one. And of course, a lot of people won't think that this is a counter spell, but it is doing that. You can pay white and a white and tap Sacrifice Vigilant Martyr, counter target spell that targets an enchantment you control. I thought this was a particularly good fit in a deck where you had an enchantment creature as your commander, and there are a few of those now, but just in general, in an enchantment theme, you know, especially in that white-green enchantment tribal theme where you're not going to have any of the blue counter spell options, this can be a great option for protecting your enchantments. Next up, we got Order of the Sacred Torch. One white, white, human knight, two, two. Just tap and pay one life, counter target, black spell. So this is a great option against those black decks, and again, black is a very popular color in the format so it is highly unlikely that you're going to sit down at a table and no one's playing black and even if they are 
It's still a 2-2 knight, right? It's still a body. You can block with it. You can sack it to something. It is still a usable card. It's never going to be a dead card because it is a 2-2 creature, right? can be extra good if you're in that human tribal or knight tribal theme as well. Next up, we got Mana Tithe. One white mana instant. Counter target spell unless its controller pays one. This will counter any spell as long as your opponent doesn't have that one extra mana open. That can be tough sometimes in a commander game. A lot better early in the game, right? To slow someone down who's really racing out of the gate because usually you're going to tap out early in the game to be casting everything you're doing. Always feels nice that gotcha moment, right? When your opponent doesn't leave that one mana open and you can get them for just one mana. You can get that big splashy spell that they're casting because they didn't leave any mana open. Next up, we got Rebuff the Wicked, another personal favorite of mine. One white mana instant, counter target spell that targets a permanent you control. So I put this in pretty much all my mono white decks. Play it in some other decks. You know, if there is my commander maybe that I really, really don't want to get touched and I think my opponents probably will try to do so. Or if I have any other permanents, right? This is any permanent you control that's being targeted, you could counter that spell. And again, it is a hard counter spell for only one white mana. So if you got some important stuff that you want to be protecting, especially your commander, this can be a great option for you. And finishing off the list with Lapse of Certainty. Two and a white instant counter target spell. If that spell is countered this way, put it on top of owner's library instead of into that player's graveyard. So this is a mono white hard counter spell that counters anything, no restrictions at all. Of course, the downside being it goes on top of your opponent's library so they can immediately just get it back the next turn and cast it again. But again, in that life-saving situation, it can be really good. Even if you just want to hold off your opponent for a turn for whatever reason, can be really, really good. Also can be really good for you to prepare for that situation right if your opponent's going to cast a board wipe and you're going to get blown out you got a bunch of creatures in play put it back on top of their library and then the next turn you know it's on top of their library you know they're going to cast it so you can prepare for that right it can be a real lifesaver in a lot of situations in a commander game but that is all that is my list 32 cards that can counter spells not in blue i'm sure most of the people watching this video did not realize there was that many non-blue options to counter spell i know i didn't there was a few when I did the digging, I'd say there's probably four cards on this list that I didn't know existed before I started doing this video. Did I miss anything? I don't think that I did, but if you can think of any counter spell option, not in blue, right? So we're not playing blue here at all. Let me know in the comments below if I missed anything. I don't think I did, but maybe I missed something. I'm not sure. I went with specifically things that counter spells for this list. So if I missed something, let me know in the comments below. But that is it for today and thanks for tuning in.